We ask the spirits to, if they'd like to communicate, to cross them into an X, and they do. I had a show on Prime called Oddity Files, and that team kind of split up, and I, I didn't want to quit what I was doing. So first I wrote a book, and as I was writing the book, I realized that ghosts aren't as scary as they make them out on TV. I had a spirit actually tell me, we are just people. So and as I was writing that book and looking back, you know, I was covered in goosebumps going, this is a whole different road. And then I had a couple friends contact me about some paranormal activity going on in their house. She had a light turning off and on that was answering questions for her, which was kind oh, of weird. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think because this is such a, a lively place where people go and make great memories, there are terrific shows here and there are weddings and there are meaningful moments here that this is just whether you've passed away and had a meaningful moment here and this is a place you want to be. This is my odd box. It hooks up to a, like an old school AM FM transistor radio that scans really quickly through the radio stations and they say if you get more than a syllable that it's spirit communication. We do need to keep it somewhat intimate because imagine a room full of people who have all brought their spirits with them and they all just found out they can talk through this thing. It's a lot. It was, I mean, it was bouncing. The lights were flashing. It was like, I, but, and we were like, we have to go one at a time. But the, yeah. that moment that you realize you could get a message through, you would be yeah. trying to be the one that gets heard, exactly. right?